Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid and if you're one of my Paperless Movement members, welcome back. If you're not, no worries, just join us, subscribe to this channel or go to our Facebook group. We will welcome you and we will go paperless together. So today I will talk about a special note-taking app. And uh, if you read my ebook already, you know I talk about five note-taking apps that are best to use on the iPad Pro. So uh, after one year digging deep into all these note-taking apps, I finally settled down on uh, two note-taking apps actually, what I'm using on a daily basis. And I will show you today one of these two, uh, what I'm settled down. If you are like me, not only using an iPad, but also other devices. Maybe you have an Android phone or you have a Surface tablet or whatever, then this app is for you because it's the only multi-device note-taking app that works on all the platforms. I'm talking about Nibu from my script. Yes. So what this means that you can use it on all the devices, I will talk in a sec. Also, if you're using Word or PowerPoint, this app is for you and I will show you everything in detail. But before we get started, I have to tell you something about the company behind Nebu. The company behind Nebu is MyScript. And interesting fact, I mentioned it in several videos already, is that MyScript developed the handwriting um, recognition algorithm which allows them to convert your handwriting into text. However, all these other note-taking apps like Notability, GoodNotes, NoteShelf2, Notes Plus, they also implemented handwriting to text conversion now. But guess what? It's all from the developer kit from MyScript. They're all using the same engine, if you will, with their own ink. So I tell you this just to point out what a major role my script plays in this game of paperless note-taking. So what I want to show you now is what really makes Nibu unique compared to other note-taking apps. And there's actually a lot that differentiates it from other note-taking apps. The other note-taking app I'm using is NoteShelf 2. If you follow me on Facebook, you know that uh, I finally settled down on NoteShelf 2. And the reasons why I did this, I will show you in another video. However, there are different situations where I use these apps. So Nibu, I'm using if I have to write something down and I know I will process the content further. Okay, to demonstrate what I mean and what makes Nibu really unique compared to all the other note-taking apps, I will show you now by just adding a new note and start from scratch. So I will just, oh, just write a sentence down. Let's fast forward this. Okay, so I wrote something like down. I will just write a template text. This is to demonstrate how awesome this app called Nibu really is. Okay, and you see on top of it, it will directly be transcribed into plain text. So let's see how good it was. So I will just write a huge blade. Okay, look at my word template. It's really bad handwriting. Okay, but no worries, just tap on it. Okay, there's no example. Um, which makes it better. All you could have to do is just strike it through and that's what my script calls interactive ink. You can just, you know, without changing the tool, do everything uh, you want. So I will just write a template text. But obviously when I tap here, I have the option to choose text so it becomes right. Okay, so what else we can do now? We just change the color and we underline, for example, to demonstrate and it makes it red. We use blue and we make box this nibble. Or maybe we can just make this like this. Okay, what we can do now here is just tap once on it and you see if I bring it together, it cramps it together, okay? And next to it, let's just fast forward this again. Uh, 
Okay, here again, let's see. MyScript is the company behind the note-taking app Nebu. They do a good job serving people who want to go paperless. And look at this on the top. You can actually just go on the left-hand side to see the full text. So MyScript is the copay, so company. You can just switch like this. Company behind the note-taking app Nebu. They do a good job saving, saving, I mean serving people who want to go paperless. Did you see how easy it was to do this? So here again, we will just highlight some of this and uh, underline this one and maybe paperless, okay? So what we can do, just select it, hold it and drag it over and then expand it. So it's the opposite. So you can even bring it over. If you go into split screen mode, it actually brings everything together. It will still stay visible what you have written there. Here obviously we have two columns and uh, then you can keep writing like this. You can just take it out, bring it over and you know make notes along notes along with your search researching. But obviously you can do this with the other note taking apps as well. Okay, so now the exciting stuff starts. Let's just select this and double tap. And there you go. It is converted into text with the color and with the highlights conserved. And now I have the option to choose between subtitle or title or paragraph. So let's go for the title and then the, the colors will be preserved or go for the subtitle. But now we have a full line we want just to add a sketch. So let's just draw something like this. Okay, and then let's make this smaller and bring it over here and like this. And what is also possible in Nebu, you just add a math. Okay, so one plus three divided by four, root out of it is five double tap on it and you see what it does. It not only calculates what, uh, it not only converts it into plain text, but it also calculates what is the, to make the equation right. So in this case, it would be one, not minus four. So we can just add one, double tap again, and it makes sense now. What else? We can add a diagram, okay? So in this case, we say Nibu. And uh, now we come in the next thing. You can export it to Word. You can export it to PowerPoint. You can, uh, you know, export it to email. Okay, and here again, we can just make it smaller or any size you like, and it's like this. But even in here, it realized you made a diagram so you can change in here already how it looks like. And now we come to the real magic behind this. And that's why I said I'm using Nebu to process my data. So I'm scribbling down some things. I know I will need it somewhere else later on. And then I just go here and you have to options to make export as text, export as HTML, export as PDF, or export as Word. And we will export it as, as Word now. And what this will make, it will just send it over to Word, make a completely new document out of it. And there you go. What it did here, it converted everything already. And it kept, you know, the color. It kept the highlighting behind the text. It kept all the things we did here. Here, you see it make it made a, a, a real equation. You can actually change now the diagram. It changed the diagram to a complete, to a real diagram, which you can now, you know, further process as to your liking. And as you know it from Word or from, and there we go, and from PowerPoint. So that's another thing you can do. You just go back to Nebu, you just press your diagram, press here, copy, go into your PowerPoint and open up a new presentation. And now we just tap here, paste, and there you go. There is our diagram and we can just now, and now we can further process to our liking how this should look like. So we can go into shape, shape styles, do something else. 
and change the shape styles here. But if you know how to use PowerPoint or how to run, I don't have to demonstrate. You can already imagine that if your handwriting or your hand-drawn diagram is converted like this, or mind maps, for example, is converted into this in, in real shapes that you can further process in other programs, I think that is amazing and that makes Nibu really unique. So let's go back into our, our note here and what is also there is um, A, B, C, you can write down bullet points. And here again, you can just copy it and paste it wherever you want. If you double tap on it, you see it makes the bullet points. You can do this the same thing with uh, real numbers. And then you just, you know, double tap and you got a list here. And this is, this is really nice. It is for people who are productive. So this is Nibu 2.0. If you know Nibu already, they updated a lot in here and it is much more fluent and stable. And what they also improved is the notebook sections. Usually you had a lot of things here on the side, but now you have only sections where you have all the notebooks. So it's more like in a traditional note-taking app. And if you go here and you swipe over, you can press sync and it will sync it to the iCloud. So it's now synced with the iCloud. So this means iCloud sync is there as well. So was, so you can export here. And what this means, it will export actually the whole note, the whole bookshelf here, and you can import it into another Nebu. And again, it is, multi, it's, it is a multi-device note-taking app. It will sync with all your other devices and you will be able to edit your notes and your ink in these different apps on the different platforms. The only important thing is to keep in mind, it needs to be a device like a tablet where a stylus is attached because it only works with stylus because it's made for it to be used with the stylus, obviously. Things that I still think is missing um, is that you just tap on this, press and hold, and you can drag and drop it over into another app. I I know that it's, you know, it's so easily solved now by just being able to tap here, copy and paste it in here, but it would be just a bit more interactivity like you can do in good notes, drag and drag over and it will convert it on the fly bringing it out there. Another thing that I would wish is just being able to drag and drop some pictures in here, which is not possible at the moment. Also, obviously, there is no functionality for hyperlinks. You can't import PDFs. So it is really, in my opinion, an app that is great to use to write something down. I can really write long text in Nebo and I'm doing this and I export it into Word to further process it. I even wrote parts of my ebook inside Nebo and then just exported it because it's just easy to, to get things out of your mind and then further process it. That makes what makes you so a productive using Nebo is the option to directly convert it in proper text in Word or other apps like an email program and so on. So tell me in the comments below what you think about Nebo. Do you use it already? In what uh, cases you're using it on a daily basis? Is it your main note-taking app? Maybe it's the case. So just let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, obviously give it a thumbs up again. Tell your friends that we are existing the paperless movement and uh, I would be happy to see you next time.